And today we're going to talk about Git commits and pull requests. And we're going to use this little lunchbox as an example. So here I've got my lunchbox. This is my GitHub repository. So far, I've already added a couple things. Here's a sandwich. Here's a salad. I've got some dressing. I've made a little commit log that tracks all the different things I've got here. I'm going to open source my lunchbox. And now anybody can take a look at my lunchbox, suggest improvements, and, and enjoy. I can go and see how you changed it. I'm on the way I am further by reading your commit log. You know, I'm going to go ahead and hop this with launch drawer. We don't want to mess with your launch day. It's actually a good state, so... I just happen to have a copy of Matt's watch dog down here. I also happen to have a cake. Actually, that's the sweet that's missing you here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to commit the cake as a change into my copy of the lunch dog. And I'm going to sign that. And I'm going to add this new message to the log. And then um, I'm going to propose to Matt to update his lunch box with my changes. So now I'm going to create this pull request. Ah, three requests for my lunch box. Okay, let's see. Add in a cake, it's right here on the log, okay. But I'm trying to really cut down on the sugar. So I'm gonna leave a message. Thanks for the pull request. However, you know, I'm trying to keep the lunchbox low sugar. Do you have any suggestions on some options that we could do there? And I'm gonna leave this, not on the commit log, I'm just gonna leave a little comment on his pull request. And then he'll receive a notification that I added that comment. Okay, we are probably right, we should find something that is with less sugar. Let me revert the change that I did, remove that commit on the log. So now we're actually back that is looking where we can live. And I actually happens to have some water. So, it's a nice watermelon. You know, you go sugar. out, but still sweet, right? So let me write a new message in there. And again, I'm gonna sign my signature. And um, here you go, Matt, just the updated pull request. Okay, so now I can once more check the commit log. Yeah, watermelon. Okay, let's see, let's check out the watermelon. Yeah, that's some good looking watermelon. That is sweet. That does really feel like it completes that lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as closed. And now I'd, I've got the kind of lunch I want. So I'm going to merge this pull request back into my lunch. And now we don't need this anymore. Yeah, and now we've got sort of the canonical version one of the lunchbox as, you know, the sandwich and the salad. And now it's got the watermelon. So there we go. We've started with a repository. You created a commit, opened a pull request. I pushed it back and created another commit, and we worked our way through that pull request and got it merged. That's how Git works if you're working with lunches and not source code. 